Hey guys, hope you are doing well. This is PKS. Welcome back to my channel. Today's topic of discussion is asset properties. This is the basic of database management system and relational database. This is a must known topic for every software engineer. So let's go in deep. Before moving forward, I would like to say you have to understand first what exactly that transaction is. Basically, Every transaction in relational database follow the asset properties, right? So what is the transaction? Let's understand. A database transaction is a sequence of one or more operations that are treated as a single logical unit of work. Operations can be reading, writing, updating and deleting. So let's understand transaction by this simple example. So Transaction start with begin statement, then operation one, operation two, or three, or like an operation, right? And then commit. If everything goes well, transaction will be commit. If something went wrong, either with any of the transaction, that transaction can't be commit. That must be roll back. Now let's understand the acid property. So acid stands for A for atomicity, C for consistency, I for isolation and D for durability. Let's understand each property in detail with example. Atomicity means all or nothing. If any part of the transaction fails, the entire transaction fails and the state of database will unchange. Let's consider atomicity by a very simple example. Let's say in any banking system, if 500 rupees transferring from A account to B, first debit will happen and the credit will happen to account B. If any debit or credit operation got fails, the entire transaction will fail and the transfer of money will not happen at all. Any atomic system guarantee atomicity including power failure, crashes and the system errors. Consistency property ensure one valid state to another valid state of database. For an example, if any transaction happen, so before transaction and after transaction, the state of database will be a valid one. And it will be the data validity will be according to the rules set up to the database including cascades, trigger, constraint, etc. Let's understand the consistency with this example. Suppose you are withdrawing 5000 rupees from your bank account using ATM and you have 20,000 in your bank account. That means before transaction you have 20,000 rupees in your bank account and after transaction if you see the remaining amount is 15,000 plus 5,000 in your hand that means before transaction data state is 20,000 and after transaction that equals to 20,000 that is the basically consistency isolation this property means one after another. For an example, if any database management system, there are three transactions T1, T2, T3 and that are running in parallel. The isolation property ensure that transaction will be executed in serialized so that if they goes in parallel, that means definitely it can break consistency to maintain the consistency which was the previous term isolation ensure transactions must be execute in serial so that first t1 execute then t2 then t3 it will not happen like if first t1 execute then t2 then again t1 half of karke that will not durability property ensure if any transaction committed to database, the data store is permanent and store on disk. It is not something like that ki we can store data just for two hours or four hours. It is permanent. Jab tak aap next update nahi karenge, database ka jo data hai that will remain unchanged, right? 
Example, we have taken the first example from money transferring from account A from B. Jaha pe humne 500 rupees transfer ki tha. That means A se basically debit hua tha and B me credit hua tha. That means the state of data will permanent. All the relational database use some mechanism to maintain the durability in case of even power failures, crashes, server errors, whatever. For an example, in case of my skill the default storage engine is InnoDB and that use logging WL right right ahead log that before committing to this a transaction log has been written that we also known as redo log and also there are other mechanism too like crash recovery double write buffer etc so guys that's all for asset properties over to you I hope you like this particular video thank you happy learning